Yo, what's up, everybody? Jumping here, and this is gonna be jelly time, where I take a level 10 ultra rare weapon and I use it, and I show you what it does at level 10. Today, I'm gonna be bringing you the Eagle 10. Ugh. Yeah, the Eagle 10, guys. I was never much of a fan of it. I think it's um definitely a lot better at 10. That is for sure. But Originally, I did a fun with guns with this gun when it was at, like, I don't even know what level it was at. Maybe three or four. But this was the gun. I always, you know, this is how I feel about the accommodation weapons. Or, they're not really accommodation anymore. But when they were actual, like, accommodation weapons or whatever. I don't know why I keep saying accommodation. Accommodation weapons. But anyway, when these things were accommodation weapons, I always felt like... I don't really know if anyone, like, really got, like, all four of the guns consistently in the... What I mean is, like, let's say by the end of it you had, I don't know, the Hurricane 7 with the Crusader 5, the Eagle 5, and maybe the Valiant 6. That, to me, would be very balanced. You would get each of the guns a lot. But me, I got the Crusader, and I got the Eagle. That was about it. I walked away with the Hurricane 3... And the Valiant 2! I know, it's crazy. So the two guns that I personally think were the better guns, I never really got. And it took me forever to get the Hurricane, if some of you guys may remember that. So, the Eagle 10. Honestly, the Eagle's not so bad. Um, if you use it like a machine gun, it is a machine gun. It is not a pistol, at least in my mind. But that's unfortunate because since it's classified as a quote-unquote pistol, there isn't no option to actually put a recoil modifier on your weapon attachment or anything like that. Because this thing has some really bad recoil at times. It feels a lot like the Hurricane when it comes down to recoil. That is for sure. I'm using it on the Gep Infiltrator because I think he's a pretty solid choice. I was thinking about doing it on the Turian Soldier, but when I thought about it, I just did a Turian Soldier video, like yesterday, and for my Fun With Guns video I did with this gun, I had a Turian Soldier. So I think the Gep Infiltrator is a pretty solid choice, although he's extremely, extremely flimsy. I mean, that's the only thing I don't like about him. I love the Gaff Infiltrator. I think that he is one of the best Infiltrators, and I think he's one of the best characters in the game overall. But if you do not have, like, some type of Cyclonic on him, he will just get dropped in a half of a second. It can be nuts at times. Now, the reason why I wasn't using a Cyclonic, because I was thinking about rocking one of those. But honestly, guys, the recoil on this gun is pretty annoying. Now, I could manage it. But I'd rather actually have a better, more precise aim in the end than actually have, like, well, a Cyclonic on. I don't really mind dying four or five times. It can be frustrating when I'm trying to get a video because I hate to upload a video where I die a lot. But it just happens, and honestly, that's exactly what's going to happen in this game. Uh, I do pretty well, I thought, but I do end up dying and using up all my op packs quite a bit. Because with this Get Infiltrator, if you get like swarmers on you, or if you walk into that little blood, or if you get warped, anything like that against Reapers, it can be pretty bad. I also want to apologize for uploading Reapers again. I, I know I've been uploading quite a bit of Reapers, but I will be coming out with some more Platinum gameplays soon, so I hope that will calm some people's dicks. Um... And yeah, we're, we're going to be trying to get in a couple of those things, but everyone keeps commenting. I keep seeing the same fucking comment. I don't know if it's the same person or what, but it's like, do our Krogan platoon thing. Oh. Guys, you got to realize, live comms for me isn't really that easy. I got to find people who have Skype. That's the first thing. I got to find people who are going to be on, and I got to find people who, for one, won't suck so bad. And the final thing is that they actually have to have a decent personality. If it's just some guy who I kind of just met and he never talks, then what's the point of him being in the live com? He's not going to say anything. And that's lame, right? 
So, I have to kind of wait for other people to actually get on or to do these things, and, I, you know, that's just how it goes. So, sorry, but I'll try to get a couple in. I don't really know if I can really... I could do a platinum speedrun video. I've been doing that a lot recently. The whole little rocket all things. And that is stupid easy. Like, on average, I can beat it in, like, anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. Just depends on the people I'm playing with. It also depends on what potential, you know, what can actually happen in the game. There's always little factors that could fuck you up a little bit. Like, bad objectives and all this other stuff. I could maybe do a platinum speedrun video. Although, it's kind of, like, overly done at this point. Like... I would hope that it's pretty well known that you can just rocket the shit out of Platinum and make it extremely easy if you just play like Glacier all day. It's crazy, but yeah, you can consistently beat Platinum Glacier in anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. Or under if you can, you know, get really lucky, but, but on average I would say 10 to 15 minutes, you can beat Platinum Glacier, get 150,000 credits, that's pretty badass, right? And you don't really have to do much. All you have to do, like, anyone can do it. I've played with some people who are not the greatest players ever. And I've been able to platinum speedrun with them and walk away with maybe 13, 14, 15 minutes. And still, a 15-minute game of platinum is still a better better than a 30 or 40-minute game of platinum in a box. That's the way I look at it. But anyway, yeah. So, that's the thing, guys. You guys can kind of tell me what you want. But, like, like I said, platinum live com, I don't know. I might literally not do a live com for some of the all one race things, like uh, maybe the Krogan, or I might not do a live com for the. Um, I was thinking about doing a sorry commando unit, two, just like the Turing Platoon two. That would that would be kind of cool, right? So that's something I would do, and in that, of course, it would be the Valkyrie. I wouldn't use the Vanguard. No, 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 no. Vanguard not platinum worthy in my opinion and it's kind of lame because all the Vanguard is really meant to do is just grenade spam and I don't really like that so no Vanguard but I would probably play Valkyrie where you know we would have the Justicar the Infiltrator and the regular old Adept so that's something also I was thinking about doing once again though I don't really know if, about these live comms like it's kind of a bitch because a lot of times people you know I'll be talking to somebody, I'm like, you know, this guy would be probably pretty good for this live com. And I say, hey, uh, what, you got a computer by you? No. Ah, fuck. Well, that ain't gonna work. So, I mean, that's just kind of how it goes. Or, do you have a mobile device? No. It's like, god damn, man, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I'm just putting that out there. But let's get back, you know, I, this is like, this video is like halfway over. And I'm not even talking about the eagle at all. Really, because there's not much to say. You point, you aim. You shoot, it's a machine gun, it has recoil, and I don't really like it all that much. But that's, of course, my opinion. Oh, yeah, I hate this fucking wave. I hate this fucking wave, and I hate this fucking wave. Look at this shit. This is what I'm talking about with this fucking F infiltrator. It's so fucking retarded. Like, that's, for one, I mean, the main thing is this. If you play smart, and you kind of, like, don't rush out in the middle of all the enemies with the Geth infiltrator, you can do pretty well. And for the majority of the game, that's what I'm doing, and I'm not really dying. But in this stupid thing with this escort, I mean, look at this shit. They're everywhere in this middle room. This middle room is just so fucking deaf. I'm surprised we had an easy time with the upload because that upload is really freaking bad, especially for Wave 10. And imagine getting that on Platinum. Yeah, it's pretty annoying in general. So that middle upload is one of the worst in the game. There's a lot of really bad uploads, but that one is by far one of the worst. And for this escort to be like, a, you know, to, to actually go through that stupid middle, I was going to say something really offensive there, but I caught myself, but yeah, for that stupid thing to go through the middle, it was really freaking annoying for sure, and I just ended up dying like twice or whatever it was, and it's, ugh. but anyway, alright, so the eagle, the eagle is, like I said, it's a, it's a pretty good weapon, honestly, like, I would imagine that people would like this gun a lot for maybe using it on some type of, like, um, power build where you can get really lightweight gun and use powers in this gun. But it falls into this really bad recoil quality of guns. I don't even know what, the, what, what word to use there, but... Anyway, yeah, it falls into this category. That's the word. Category. It falls into this bad recoil category of guns. And it 
is really annoying at times. And that's me raging right there, if you uh, didn't know. But, uh, yeah. So, because of that, honestly, its recoil is so bad to me. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it's so bad to me. It's like, honestly, I would prefer using something like the Hurricane over a gun like this. That's just me, though. Because if I want to use this gun effectively and actually do the, like, the, the best I could possibly do with it, I have to have stabilization equipment. And when you run stabilization equipment, then you're not going to have like your cyclonic or your shield power cells or whatever you're going to actually use. Or even your adrenaline. Adrenaline would be really nice to use. on. The... I like adrenaline on the Geth Infiltrator. I like shield power cells just to help me get my shields back really quickly and all that. And I like cyclonic. Those are what I normally use on this guy. So for me to be forced to use something like a uh, stability, it can be kind of annoying, that's for sure. And the great thing about like something like a hurricane or an assault rifle that has recoil is that you can always just put a, a weapons attachment on it and be okay and still be able to use your cyclonic or whatever it is. But with the pistol, you're not going to have that option. So if you don't mind the recoil or if you don't mind hip firing, because of course you can also hip fire, guys. That's something you can do. And I think maybe a little bit in this game here and there I'm going to hip fire, but I don't know. I'm not a big hip fire. I, well, I like to aim in a lot. Like, it really just depends. Like, when I used the Piranha, I hip-fired a lot. When I used the the Hornet, there was a, a moment there where I used to, like, do drugs or something, and I was swearing by the Hornet. I thought the Hornet was, like, the greatest gun for a while, but that was before, that was way back in the day. I'm talking about, like, when I, you know, I just started playing this game. I mean, the game just came out, I was playing it, and I didn't really have any good guns yet. And, or at least I wasn't able to experience other good guns. Hornet is a good gun though honestly the hornet is not all that bad but it's not all that good either so it kind of ranks believe it or not the hornet is literally dps wise as powerful as the punisher that is fucking sad the only thing is that the punisher is actually i think the punisher gets more damage to armor but that's only when it, the armor piercing round occurs so that's something you guys can think about but anyway, yeah, but the Eagle, you should aim for the head, that's one thing. And the recoil is so bad on it, if you don't have any type of recoil, like, reducer, then, yeah, you could pretty much get away with just using, um, aiming for the body, okay? And then when you aim for the body, the recoil is so shit that more than likely what's going to happen is that you're going to hit him in the head. And you can walk away with a ton of headshots, so that is something you can do. Now, if you haven't, if you couldn't tell, we're playing on Goddess, and I've been doing this new little strategy on Goddess, and I like it a lot. I like it a lot. And what it is is that what we do is I kind of hold down like this bottom room area. Two people could definitely be down here um, to help block spawns and all that. And then we have like two people on the top. And they kind of like block down the spawns on the top. And we force them to literally spawn in like one to two locations. Almost like um, almost like Glacier in a lot of ways. We literally force their spawn on the pad and everything. And if they, if someone rockets the, the pad, then they'll spawn like really close to the pad. And then you can go rocket that. So this is a pretty good map for maybe like Platinum Speedrunning if you wanted to try that. That strategy I think would work pretty well in general. Um to actually be able to rocket all the waves and make platinum super super easy and that's the thing at the end of the day is um yeah i play gold a lot but that's because i play with a lot of randoms or i play with a lot of my subscribers i really do guys if you guys are wondering that i do play with my subscribers quite a bit if someone hits me up and says hey do you want to play a lot of times i'm like okay sure why not like but you know there will be times where you might if you try to message me or something on xbox I'm not going to reply to you, but that is because I'm probably already in the game, or I'm full, whatever it is, um, all that nonsense, but if I get a message from somebody and I don't have a full game or something, and I'll just invite that person, I don't really care honestly, and I will literally play like gold with that person for a while to kind of feel them out, see if they're, like, they are decent enough to maybe like run platinums, and then I'll run some platinums too. Like I play platinum actually quite a bit, especially now. Um, just because I'm kind of bored with gold. 
But I like to record gold just because I think that it's best to demonstrate gold. And there's a lot of my subscribers, or a lot of you guys, some of, well, some of you guys. I mean, yeah, there's some super pros out there who watch my videos for sure. You know, I'm not trying to knock you and say, oh, you're, you suck. But if you are a really good player, yeah, then you're probably a good player. I believe you. But there's other players that watch my videos. And I would think that the big majority of the players who actually watch my videos probably aren't really platinum ready. That's the way I would put it. So it's tough for me to, like, demonstrate stuff on Platinum and recommend Platinum and say, you know, oh, you know, this is great for Platinum. When the, the people watching my videos, they might not even have, like, the same gear as me. Or they don't have the same equipment as me. Or they don't have a high enough level gun as me. Whatever it is. And I'm promoting them to go play Platinum and then maybe you... A, a player who is trying to legitimately play platinum and you know that you know you have I don't know all your weapons to 10 or whatever it is you have a lot of the weapons to 10 and you have a lot of good equipment and then all of a sudden you get these lower rank people with no good guns trying to play platinum I don't like that I really don't the truth of the matter is this that what a lot of you guys need to do is work your way up you have to work your way. I worked my way up. Everybody. At least, maybe not everybody, but a lot of people who play this game, on my level at least, they play, they, they work their way up. Like when I played the demo, I started on bronze. I played a little bronze. Then we bumped it up to silver. Then in the demo, we bumped it up to gold. So right away, we were, at least me and, and some, some of my friends, we were ready for gold for the real game. So we were playing a little bit of silver when the game came out and a lot of gold so right away we were pretty experienced and you just gotta work your way up that's the thing like I, I I get that comment a lot like where people I don't really know like it just seems like a lot of people they don't they don't know what to do or whatever they they comment a lot of random stuff and in general my response to that would be work your way up and the problem is, is that there's so much crap in this game now with all the DLCs. It would be a total nightmare if you just started. Like, at least that's what I would imagine. If you just started this game, it would be a nightmare. You would have to unlock so much crap. It would be really tempting to not, like, work your way up and just say, well, I'll just go play gold or platinum. And then I will be not all that useful. See, that's the problem is that if you're not that useful, then it, it's not really good for you and it's not good for your team. And I can't promote that. I can't act like that's something you should do because that's something you should not do. You should play silver. If you aren't comfortable with gold and you think you suck at gold, play silver for a while. Get used to it. Learn the spawns, all that stuff, and then you're good to go. Anyway, the eagle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know guys, I'm on a little bit of a rant today. I just personally think there's not much to say about the eagle. I don't know. It, it's jelly time, it's just really meant to be the gameplay with the eagle. I literally only played with this gun a couple times. I got the gameplay and said, you know what, I'll just go commentate it and put it on the intertubes for you guys to watch. Uh, in case anyone was wondering. I would rank this gun probably a 7 to be quite honest, so that's actually a, pretty above average. Only because if you use armor piercing 4 and if you actually, you know, can hit the enemies, with, if you can fight the recoil or if you just use the stability or whatever, you can mow down enemies pretty quick. I hope you can see that. Like, this gun is, the DPS on it is pretty high. I know they buffed it a while back, and I don't think I played with it since they buffed it, but I can definitely tell this gun is a lot stronger and a lot better. But then again, someone was telling me that they nerfed it, which I don't know about that, but... Who knows? It, it, they may, they might have nerfed it after they buffed it. I don't, I don't really pay attention all that much. But yeah, it's a pretty decent gun, though. Um, it's one of those. It falls into that category. It's like I wouldn't probably use it personally, but I could see why people would want to use it. And if it's like, if it's one of your higher ranked blacklisted guns or ultra rare guns, then yeah, you can definitely use it. It'd be pretty effective. But at the end of the day, I would probably always use the talent, or I would use what's another good one, the alkalite something like that even the paladin's really good you know there's a lot of really great pistols or i just wouldn't use a pistol at all like that's another thing like <laughs> i just wouldn't use a pistol like to me 
I, I don't know, like, I could strap a Harrier on this Gap Infiltrator and do really well. I could strap on a Claymore and do really well. I can strap on a lot of different guns and do probably better with those guns than what I would do with the Eagle. And even if I was going to run a build that would be good with the Eagle, or I would think would be good, like a power-based build, I would probably strap the Harrier on it or something like that. But I don't know, that's just me or the Lancer. That would be another good one. Alright guys, I hope you have enjoyed this. Please like and favorite this video for me, and you guys have a nice day.